Eric Blevins here with week two, day three of the Cube Kingpin. Um, this is the rep day for squats. Did not make it through today. Uh, failed on the third assistance exercise. This was a very, very difficult day. Um, really felt okay going into the workout. Um, I did sprint around a little bit yesterday and my uh, quads were a little tired. But really no explanation for it other than just I think that the percentages are tough in this program, and maybe they're a little too tough for me. So uh, this first set, I felt like my depth wasn't um, as low as I would like it. The spotter bars here are pretty pretty parallel, so you can see that on a couple of these, uh, definitely it looks like my uh, hip crease is not lower than my knee. It's just right at parallel, and so I tried to go a little lower on the next set, but this was uh, the rep ranges that the cube called for were 8 to 12, and I only did 8. It said uh, 2 to 3 sets, 8 to 12. So I went on the low end of the rep range and did 3 sets. I threw on my belt here for this set and uh, tried to go a little lower. Uh, as usual, the speed is faster in the videos when I watch it than what it feels like. These really felt like grinders. Um, I am keeping my chest upright pretty well. I like how much I'm, uh, how upright I'm staying. And so I, a lot of this is just, it comes down to leg strength. Um, I was having some issues with core tightness as well. I've had some uh, tendon issues in my lower back and they've just been feeling so tight and cramping up in between sets. Um, I'm trying to work on them. I'm icing them. I'm working on mobility, foam rolling, um, all that stuff. But it's just real tight, and I'm trying to figure out what exactly is the cause of all that. Um, I may have had a little bit wider stance today than I usually do. That may uh, be something I'll pay attention to a little bit more. I was also using a different squat rack, and so the pins on this one, the uh, actually where you rack it, are pretty close. I jammed up one of my fingers when I racked it actually after this set. But uh, depth was a little better, and I was happy that I got through three sets of eight. This is with a uh, four four twenty five, and you know, as I came away from this workout, I was just reminded that sometimes you don't get what you want, and you program things out carefully. But when you try new things, sometimes it's just too hard. For me, these reps just really took it out of me. Um, I ran out of gas uh, really early and took some big breaks, uh, six seven minute breaks in between sets, and still couldn't do it. And my legs, I felt like, got the stimulus that they could handle. Um, at the end, you'll see my last set of pause squats with a lot, the, the lightest percentage I used that day, and I just get nowhere near finishing out the uh, sets and reps. After that, I went and did some assistance work with some leg press um, and some hamstring curls. And after my second set of hamstring curls, <laughs> both of my hamstrings were just cramped. I couldn't even... Uh, do a, a hamstring curl with no weight and just, you know, lift my leg, uh, my heel up to my butt without it cramping. And so I felt that my legs got the stimulus they needed. I felt that I worked hard and I felt good about that. Um, I was struggling not to throw up through most of the workout, just trying hard. And really all I can say is my body is not ready to handle the volume in the King, uh, King Kingpin workout. So that's a good thing for me. I'm going to keep trying to go through it as it's programmed, and I'll be happy with whatever I can do. I've found that the rep days are certainly the hardest, and the max effort days I can get through, like bench this week, was real easy. I breezed through it. But as I was looking at the percentages compared to the speed day, the percentage, the last speed day I did on squats, the percentages are higher for this workout, and the rep ranges are higher. And so... I mean, it's just a, a rough day. And so if the speed squats were hard, certainly this day was just impossible. So this was supposed to be for a set of 10. But I was I, in my mind, I had, I'm going to go until I feel like my form is going to break down and I can't go anymore. I took off the belt to really kind of feel where I was at and got five reps and called it. It was just, I had nothing left in my tank. And I felt like I wouldn't be able to get up maybe even just another rep. I've been working with uh, the 5th and 6th graders we work with uh, through Daniel. And I was reminded of this verse from Nebuchadnezzar after he's kind of, he goes crazy. He has a mental breakdown in uh, 
lives like a wild animal pretty much for seven, uh, seven years, I think. And this was because of his pride. He had just said about how he had established the kingdom of uh, Babylon and that this empire he had created was so great, and he was humbled. And at the end of his kind of breakdown, Nebuchadnezzar praises and extols and honors the king of heaven, uh, the god of the Jews. And he declares that his ways are right and that this God is able to take those that walk in pride and humble them. And so I was certainly humbled by this workout today. And it reminds me of how dependent I am on nutrition and form and God. So that's what I was thinking about. Blessings.